What do we have left? We have the Instructor, Steward, and Fallen Angel of Love. Valvatores, Fenric, and Flan as DLC. We have the Kind Demon, Singing Princess, and Thief Angel. Kilia, Melodia, and Artina. And we have the Delinquent, Curry Lover, and Lady Overlord. Raspberry, Usalia, and Girl Laharl. Been enjoying the game overall? Oh, I've been enjoying it thoroughly, CLZ. Come back anytime. It's been honestly really good. Lahara was, uh, Lady Harl was great in Sky D2. It was an interesting experience, but at the very least, it was funny. I honestly don't remember much about Sky D2 as a whole. My mind kind of blanked that out on a number of things. One D3, I'm uh, half rounded down. One D6. <coughs> Post game ball solo. Nice. You guys want me to do a D6? Welcome. What do you want? I mean, true, there are three DLCs left to do. So I could do one, two, three, four, five, six. Or, hear me out on this, or I can do a D4 and a four is a reroll for suspense. Just do what you want, man. <laughs> All right. If it lands on one, we will go for the uh, the instructor, steward, and fallen angel. Lands on two, we will go kind demon, singing princess, and thief angel. And if it lands on three, we'll go for delinquent, curry lover, and lady overlord. All right. I've heard a lot of things about apparently Kilia being like some OP shit, but so far. Like, the most OP thing has come from fucking Baiko. Of all things, Baiko's staff is the most OP thing we've seen so far in the game. And it landed on one. And that's not playing, so something is still broken and I have not fixed it. I do not know why it's not working. I am very confused on that. Okay, I don't know why it's not working, so I'm probably going to say with those and try to figure out why it's not working then. So we're going to go for this, the Instructor, Steward, and Fallen Angel, Flan. Valvatoris, Fenric, and Flan. Don't need anything? I'll show you the way, dude! Let's see. What is the story here? This way, Fuji. According to Peachon's report, the Prinnies are in big trouble. I don't care about the Prinnies. But I can ignore this weird presence. What the hell is it? Please forgive me, dude! Or Robert Torres and Fenric. I've reflected. Please forgive me, dude! You don't deserve forgiveness. Aren't you a fisherman? You can't even tell how fresh a sardine is. You're a failure. I thought the Hinamoto Netherworlds were famous for sardines, but look at this one. It barely has any scales. Just doesn't that make it easier to eat, dude? You fool! Sardine scales, uh, scales peel off easily. They're set to uh, bind their predators with their fallen scales upon escape. Mishandling a sardine will cause its scales to fall off. If they have their scales, it means they've been treated with care. My lord, 
My lord knows exactly how fresh a sardine is, even if he's blindfolded. You pretty should be more diligent. Now then, back to training. You can't go home until you memorize the shape of a sardine. Show some gratitude for them. So, that guy with the cape so weird presence. I can tell he's a master swordsman, but he doesn't look it. I've heard about Toys before. He's a legendary vampire who now uh, survives by eating sardines instead of drinking blood. Sardines instead of blood? What the hell? That explains his fancy outfits. You there? Were well, you making fun of my lord just now? Where did when did you get here? That speed? Who or what are you? I'm the one asking the questions here. Miscreants who dare disrespect Lord Valvatore shall perish at my hands. Don't get too carried away now, Fenric. They only need to be educated. We must show them the way of sardines. Of course. Please leave it to me, my lord. If you want to fight, I'll give you one. I don't care who you are. I'll do my worst and cut you down. What is Fenric all about? Alright, first off, they actually have a map... Uh, Wind resist minus 50%. Wind resist plus 50%. With... Wait, what? I forgot to take on the stars. I forgot the 20 stars. I'll take a look at your shit right now then, Fenric. Don't mind this. Royal Battler. Blind. When attacking, decrease target's hit by 20% for three turns. That's... Uh, not really special at all. Increase stats by 50% when Avatars is deployed as an ally. Moon Promise. Increase stats by 20% when no units are jumbo uh, jumbified. That's not bad, actually. Reduce defense of enemies one panel in front by 50%. 50% defense reduction? It's actually not bad. Ben Sherry, thanks for the sub for Prime. Oh, damn. Thank you so much, dude. So generous. A 50% cut in defense is actually not bad. Buff for most stages. It's a good buff for a lot of stages. If only because as long as I think on some maps, if you don't jumbo, the opponent won't. And then symbol of loyalty. Cover when Valvatoris is attacked. It doesn't say distance, so I'm assuming he will warp across the field to eat a hit for Valvatoris. Assuming it's not AoE. Moonlight Fang. Increase attack power by 35%, performing a wind attack. Fuck. If Jiraki was here, he would be telling me to get that for him immediately. Lone Wolf's Revenge. When Valvatoris dies, increase attack power and damage dealt by 50%, but increase damage taken by 100%. Ooh, same. I forgot you're also a wind attacker, Mad Alice. <laughs> Five minutes to second, Zed. No, he's not. Zed, I feel, is much stronger than this. While Fenric has very good uh, abilities for boosting wind and, say, attack up, Zed will just get better the longer you've played with him and reincarnated. What about this? Jumbability. Jumbility. Wind resistance minus 99%. Oh, that's dangerous. And then for the Infernal Treasure. Wind attack damage dealt plus 200%. Alright, I will admit that he probably is very strong, but Zed is on a whole different level, I feel. And I don't want to die here.
We're gonna switch that back. No question though, what you got, Angelo? What if you got with Taurus the revive ability? I My assumption is we already saw this. My assumption would be that revivabilities do not actually have a character die and instead have a sort of number that just takes have they reached them a fatal damage. And if yes, turn it to zero and it trigger an effect. That's just an assumption, though. I have nothing really backing it. That's sort of just like my guesswork of how they would handle that and how technically they have not died yet. Think you got this? If I could punch one. Actually. <laughs> I forgot. If I could punch one more space, you'd be sorry. No, I can. And that's now just an actively worse fist. Get silly on the field. Dance. I warned you. Let's so get just people so that can creepy. clear out the in the rest of the map right here. <laughs> I'll kill you. And then let's see. Um, I mean, technically, Lonnie is a little bit lower as well. And you can just not kill, so this will work out just fine. I'm sorry. And then we get Valvatores the Vampire. Now, what is the big thing about Valvatores? Frank doesn't often struggle in battle. I expect nothing less from residents of the Sardine renowned Hinomoto. But I can't back down now. I must begin the Sardine Revolution in the Hinomoto Netherworlds. What? Are you serious? Hinomoto Sardines used to be the best around. Sardine experts once drooled at the mere mention of them, but no longer. Now they're not fatty, they're lean, and their skills are broken. It's deplorable. I must save the Hinomoto Sardines. You want to stop me? You'll have to prove your love for Sardines. I swear to submit to any Hinomoto resident who loves them more. What? Oh, seriously? I can't stand this guy. I don't even measure that. When it comes to love, I'm the one to call. I, that's, that's her, isn't it? I'm Flan, the fallen angel of love, and I'll test your emotions with my trusty love sensor. D how interesting? What's the fallen angel doing in Hinamoto? This is a love, freak, a love freak acquaintance of ours. She's looking for a friend for whom she was separated during her, tr during her travels. I test love through cooking, making a sardine dish filled with love. I'll taste them uh, to see who loves, whose love runs deeper. An interesting idea, I accept. Fenric sardine sushi won't lose. No one's more obsessed with sushi than I am. I shall present to you my prolica rolls. What are you getting so worked up about this? I've also uh, procured a special ingredient, a rare golden sardine. Sardine Kintoki. I only have one, so you have to fight for it. Now, who will take it? Who lo whose love of sardines will reign supreme? Ready, chefs? Begin! Frederick, you focus on cooking. I'll make sure I get my hands on that sardine Kintoki. Fuji, I'll take care of the kitchen. You can handle the sardine Kintoki for me. Fine. I'll cut Valvatoras down and end this ridiculous contest. Oh, they're playing one of the good songs from this guy right here. It's the main menu theme, a uh, main menu song. Like when you first boot up the game. I like this one. 
and it's Valvatorth of just two prinnies? Victor and Curb Furniture. They have nothing special about them. Weird. But alright, Valvatorus, what is your big thing? Sardine Pinbones is your uh, staff. Or, er, Sardine. Reverses damage dealt when attacking no what? I Does he mean when he hit when he hits you with a spear he heals you? It's a heal spear. Alright. I'm just confused about that then so if we ever hit this with a normal attack he will heal us let's know he's so kind all right and his unique one is absorption when defeating enemy increase own stats by 10 percent of the defeated target stats this is what make valva torres so Snowbally in almost every single game he's ever appeared in. When he kills something, it's easy to kill more things, and he keeps absorbing stats more and more and more. If the game is if the fight is not just one boss and it has any amount of adds, minions, or anything like that, he can very quickly catch up and overtake most things. And then Prinny Instructor. Increase experience, mana, and class proficiency gained by Prinnies in assigned squad by 20%. So the, the the squad or anything that lets someone act as a Prinny has a valid reason if you have Avatoras and this ma ability. Sardine Supremacy. When using a Sardine, recover 900% HP and increase attack by 20%. For how much sardines actually heal, I'm pretty sure the healing amount cannot be salvaged. If you're, say, about maybe what? 5,000 or more HP. It would be mainly for the attack 20%. Then Blood Oath. Nullify non-sardine heal effects. Increase max HP and SP by a hundred percent. That's actually really good. You cannot be healed by any source that is not a sardine, but double your HP and SP. For our one bomb printy, that's actually incredible. Lord of the printies, of course, is a five one. Increase research, research printy stats by 50% of its of own stats if leading research support squad. Damn, all right, that is really good. That means for the item research squad in the netherworld, the printies that you send in are tied to his stats if he's leading the squad. That's actually really good. And then Sliver of Tyranny. When using specials, increase attack power by 100% and SP cost by 200%. That's the one everyone wants. I can tell you right now, that's the one everyone's going to want. Mages love that. Oh, I'll bet. A lot of people more than just mages are going to love this. It's double attack power for any special attack. 
at the cost of 200 SP, and sometimes, remember, you can get that SP cost down really low. And yeah, on witches who naturally have, like, reduced SP costs and the like, that is amazing. Oh yeah, for early game, it's not going to be something that people are going to use, just because you only have maybe, say, what? Six, seven, eight in my ability slots? Com at least common slots? So you're not going to really use that much. But, for terms of character creation slash building for endgame, I can see at least three of our characters using this. And then what's your big thing? When you're when jumbo fight, when attacking, use 20% of damage dealt to heal. Everyone will get vampirism essentially. Which is actually not bad, but also terrifying if you do that on the wrong fight. And the enemy has an AoE move that they just now think, Oh, hey, this will heal me to full. And then the Infernal Treasure. Defeating enemy units grants extra actions. Three in the max. Alright. So yeah, he has three instances of Gale Force, or whatever you want to call it. And for someone who absorbs, he is a very complete kit. I can very much see that if someone were to use, like, Valvatore as, like, one of their characters, you would not need to dip much out of his own class to just enjoy a very good power trip. Mad request the final blow on Valvatoris. I'm gonna see if I can, uh, uh, uh what's it called, do that for you, alright? Oh, tough guy! I warned you! You're mine! All right, he's at 3,000 HP. Mad's at 7,235. 7, I got this, dude! And you just have star muscles on you. Or star muscle right there. And I think with this, you're at 12k HP max. There we go. Request fulfilled. <laughs> I'll kill you. <laughs> oh, me, dude. Oh, dude. Because of that we missed one treasure chest. <laughs> Need a prayer? Blessings be upon time. you. You just want chest? It's fine. All right, punishment time. Fall into flan.
I didn't manage to wipe him out, but I got my hands on the sardine kintoki. This fight's ours now. Thank you so much, Fuji. My signature original sashimi is now complete. Yay, Prolica rolls. Had I eaten enough sardines, I would have been able to get the sardine kintoki. I'm sorry, Fenric. Please don't fret, Lord Val. I had anticipated such a turn and prepared sardines from uh, frozen in, in their peak freshness. I shall demonstrate to the last how much better my sardine tyrant sushi is. Both teams have finished cooking. Now it's time for the tasting round. I'll start with Prilika's dish. Wow, Prilika's rolls are so colorful and fancy. Munch. Uh, huh? The cream cheese complements this fatty sardine. It's so rich. And what's this wrapped inside? A perilla leaf? The cream cheese complements the richness of sardine, but the perilla leaf must serve to cut through that nice fatty flavor. A taste that's filled with love for the one eating. Next, the sardine tyrant sushi. It looks like a normal sushi, nigiri sushi, like normal nigiri sushi. But what? Was this sardine really frozen? I can taste how fresh it is. It's like there's a sardine samba in my mouth. Only amateurs think fresh fish is the best. Its umami profile enhances as it ages. Sardines require a lot of work to age well. All that time and effort just goes to show how much you care. That contrasts with Perlika's dish and showcases the quality. Enough of the rambling already. And tell us the results. Who wins? Hiriko or Fenric? It's time to judge whose love for sardines is deeper. I shall announce the results. There are no levels of love. Love is equal and wonderful. What? Just cut the crap already and tell us who wins and loses like a real judge. It's a draw. You both win. Both dishes, dishes were delicious, so there's no need for a winner or a loser. You're the one who wanted to be the judge! Thanks for wasting our time with this lame contest. I'll fillet you, fish brains. For once, I agree with you. You can't break a promise you've made. Perhaps we must both punish Flan. Eek, I didn't mean to make you angry. Please forgive me. She just wanted food. That's all she wanted. Food. And <gasps> they give us a yellow Valvatoris? He no longer has the boss tag. And this song. I don't remember it. Steal his gear? Oh wait, no, now I do. Now I remember it. <laughs> I had to wait for the lyrics to come in. We don't want to steer his, uh, steal his gear, buddy. None of the stuff he can offer us is actually as good as what we have right now. Alright, Flan, what is your big thing? Lovely bow. How about her staff? She doesn't have a staff. She has a bow. 15% chance of inflicting charm when attacking normally. That is not a bad effect to have, I guess? But I can almost swear there's an effect like this base in the base game. Maybe not 15%, but like... Like it's like, what, 10% as well, right? I remember this, but I still kind of, I don't know why I prefer. I just want White Tiger to, White Tiger to be playing more often. All right, Flan. Decrease damage taken by all allies on the map by 20%. It's a solid skill. Everyone gains a flat 20% damage reduction. I don't know if you could actually stack that with some, with like, 
maybe the one or two other global damage reduction effects to like get yourself to be very tanky and difficult to, do, to like deal with. Iron Love Fist. Use res to calculate attack power when equipped with fist. She's not though! But that is a very unique ability. If you, if for someone who had a fist and they had high red, as if like they were a healer or something, this could, I could see synergy. She uses fist, she uses a bow. Mats or er, love protection, nullify status ailments. I actually don't know if that's worth three ability slots. Yeah, I don't think I would actually use three ability slots to get complete um, ailment immunity. What's her fist efficiency? It is C rank. She has an S in staff, which she's not using. A in um, a bow, which is 17. And then next one, have you loved? Ah, oh, shit. Increase magic range by nine. It's the staff that Baiko had without the damage reduction tied to it. But technically that means if you want, you could have this along with the staff and have a bonus 18 range to your magic. It only costs a four. Four is actually a bit high, but for what it gives the magic range, until you get to like having enough magic range already built in due to skill levels, that's good. Or of love. Decrease damage taken from monster units by 25%. Alright, that's okay. It probably stacks of this, though multiplicatively or additively, I don't know. That could technically be either 45% damage reduction from monsters or like, what is that? 30 something percent? No clue. Then Missionary of Love. Increase stats by 10% per ally healed. Max 100%. If someone was an Alrune, they would love this. Because being near one heals. Technically, Cecilia might actually want that because she is also the one that heals. And it doesn't say per heal skill used or anything like that. It's per ally healed. The question is, does healing yourself count as healing in an ally? Are you an ally to yourself? It's my turn. Oh, jump fight. oh, sit. Sorry, right. Jumbility. Amount to my healed plus a hundred percent. I guess I should have expected as much. But then their infernal treasure. Attacks inflict equal damage to SP. That could be lethal. That's the kind of skill I expect to see on some bosses in the story. Because they could just SP uh, drain you and then you're just like, I cannot hurt this thing anymore. She is an actual threat.
Oh, you have a bit of resistance. Too. Oh, you will kill. In that case, use this to kill. That and let me try to work this out. Small fry. Can you come off towards? You cannot. He's yellow. This may work. Let's see. If not, then oh well, I tried, man. There we go. Thanks, not by Solo Gem, same as time. I'm sorry. Really, I truly regret what I've done. Please find a way to forgive me. <laughs> Fuji, that's enough. I'm sure that flaunt stepped them up. Stepped in on purpose to play uh, Demon's Advocate. Huh? Ex excuse me, what do you mean by that? She stepped in while we were arguing over something trivial, only to pass a vague judgment that made us angry. She directed hostility toward herself so that we'd work together and stop her. It was, an, it was all an act of forced, recon of, to forced reconciliation. Interesting. I'm impressed, Flan. I heard you without realizing you were forced you were forced into villainy. I sincerely apologize. Oh, um, d d yeah, that's exactly what I was doing. You must have a sharp eye to see through my passionate performance, Perlica. I'm pretty sure she wasn't acting. You're just making things up again. And in the spirit of I know chat would have done it. That's the biggest lie I've ever heard. Because I know someone would have done that. Right there. Probably on time as well. I couldn't care less about the truth. As long as my lord is convinced. And this, and this point this battle is over, it's fine by me. Wait, wait, wait. Do you have the collector's edition of the legendary samurai film Katana Man? Yes, I have three copies. One for my collection, one to watch, and one in case I lose a copy. Would you like one? I couldn't possibly accept such a kind gift. How about I work on your ship and you let me buy one once I've saved up enough? As promised, Fenric and I shall join the crew of your ship. What? Hold up! I don't remember agreeing to that. Well, I promise to submit to any resident who, of Hinamoto who loves sardines more than I. Perlika has shown her worthiness. Therefore, Anna dictates I follow through and accompany her. He never goes back on his words, even against the, a bunch of cocky brats. Noble as ever, Lord Val, I do admire you so. Look, I honestly couldn't care less if you all went back on uh, to your own worlds. Man, none of these idiots ever listen. Taurus, Flan, and Fenric are now part of the team. What do you want to know? Let's see how much it costs to get those stuff we things we saw. Okay, guys. It is only a thousand SP to get that. Fenric. This is 2,500, so that is a bit more, but it costs only three, so that is fine. And he could actually get Lord of the Prinnies on his own right now. Huh. Train yourself up. This is one of the main songs called um, uh, I Know Field. Really? You wish to research? Okay, we got some new ones here, and we got some uh, items finished here. And we're gonna see what fisherman, if it turns, if it can turn into anything, all right? So first off, the Ouroboros Ring. We got Spade Sword. 
we got Ultimus. Emperor's Medal, Spade Sword, Executioner. Another Ultimus with this technique. Fuck. Did they... Did they change the direction of that? Did they make... Is it is it a cross or is it a 3x3 still? I for some reason think that they made it a 3x3 at some point. Because if, if they didn't, this gives anyone access to a 3x3 move. As long as they can wield this fist. Fuck, that's good. Muertos. Emperor's Medal, which, oh my god, that's a lot on there. Actually, wait, hold on. Poison and Toxic are different effects. When was it across? I don't know. I, for some reason, remember that it was at some point, but I cannot tell you when. I'm probably mixing up with another thing, too, if I'm being honest. Legendary Helm, Throat of Death's Regret. Hades Helm. Holy Streamer. Speed Extract, money as well. That's incredibly worth it. Medal of Awakening. I already see we got Mjolnir there. No Megan story, but please try not to drop it. And if you see right there, you get the Axe Technique 4. Plasma Rising Strike. And axe damage plus. If anyone ever wants to use an axe, we have some good shit for you. And another alloy robo suit. That's okay. A double matrix. It's not bad at all. And he wants to? Then you're gonna be wielding Mjolnir probably. <laughs> Lovely Cupid. Holy streamer. True Yoshitsuna. The original evilest, so strongest sword ever. That has nothing on it. And a rare holy streamer. Shit. All right, not bad. The alloy rebel suit. Chaos orbs. Overlord armor. Shortcake. Another Exodus. A legendary Ubermensch. That's very good. We can tier this up with them uh, just throwing it back into the research squad and try to get better legendaries. An audacious metal. It's not bad. And then Foresight. Electric Pulse. That is not great. Beef Curry is a new one, I think. Samurai Armor. Chocolate Minty. I think Future! Future! It's the Future Gun. God fucking damn it, game. I don't even know why that, like... I've seen the SpongeBob clip, but I have no context as for why that happened at all. I've just seen it like an occasional like splice into some video that I'm like, what the fuck's going on? Please come again. All right, let's save with all of that there. It's a random dungeon fungin. Let's see reincarnations. The items that we now have that are maxed out. This foresight that has a fuck ton of stuff put on it. Look at that. Class proficiencies, critical, accuracy, long range, and even more accuracy to so you can be more accurate while you're accuracy. Then just lend in a foresight can become. Destiny Lens, back into it. With attack secret training. Increase attack growth rate by 25%. Nice. 
Not bad at all. God damn. Oh no! Oh no! We'd have to get rid of shit! No! 25% class efficiency! That much accuracy! 18 accuracy! 25% class experience! I feel like I'd rather keep it as a foresight, honestly. Because all of this on one item is actually incredible. Me, I've got the reincarnation squad. I do. Alloy Rubble Suit. What is this one then? Nothing. Wait, hold on. Medal of Awakening. These are their our higher rarity monster weapons. Come on, Medal of Awakening. Damn it! It doesn't go up. But we do get magic uh, monster weapon attack plus plus. So like that's still good. Like we're adding that in. That's still fine. We're just gonna have to throw this back in again to see if we can get something better out of it. And then the or um, uh, Ouroboros ring. Come on. Bliss. Fuck. Poison, bl uh, bind, or monster over damage plus, plus plus and stun attack plus plus. Yeah, like that. There's something like this, but we the, for the other one that we saw, it was like an exclusive ability. We don't need that because we can just find this normally for charm and stuff. So yeah, like, there you go. That's honestly still good. the other uh, item things. Bye. Item world research, hmm? All right, let's add these into there. There's the uh, Medal of Awakening. Throw that back in there. Now for the monster as well. The Ouroboros ring. Give me better shit, please. Please come again. Now by abilities. I'm actually probably gonna end it right here because I am very hungry right now. I wanna get something to eat and I probably I need to catch up on videos that are still not on the channel yet. It's kind of useless, so auto sell become an option. Yeah, I might do that, just like as a random thing for the story now. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you had a great time. I plan on seeing you guys again on Friday. Tomorrow may or may not happen, but if it does, it's going to be evening. And I can guarantee it would even be Disgaea. I honestly would do it as a test. I'm going to try and gauge how tiring my work is after I've gotten used to it see if I'm going to be doing some evening streams or not because right now my schedule is exclusively mon or morning stuff but also means that I only have Monday, Wednesday, and Friday as possible streamings. So reverse 1999? I don't know about that either. Again, we're going to have to see. Until then, stay awesome everyone. Hopefully, I'll let me entertain you one more time another time. See ya. And during your job, it'll be fun but like, like I said, I don't mind the work. It's not, like, excruciatingly difficult. It's just a lot of work. And the time I'm home, my body is saying, how dare you put me through that?